Richmond is one team doing it tough as it prepares for the new season. Pre-season training is a tough slog at the best of times, but when the Mercury passes the old century, it's almost unbearable. But the show must go on with the 95 season rapidly approaching. And Richmond is one club currently braving Melbourne's unseasonal heat. Yeah, we feel a bit mad sometimes. There's probably a lot better things to do down the beach or in the shade or something like that. But um, now you've got to do a bit. And the guys, the fitness guys are fairly sympathetic in this type of weather and, and the training was cut down a little bit. Fitness advisors closely monitor conditions and believe working too hard in oppressive heat is unwise and can be dangerous. If you work too hard tonight, it's going to reduce what you can do in future nights. So it really goes against uh, the long-term training goal in terms of getting them fit. There used to be the theory that on hot nights like this, if you uh, make them train and you don't give them anything to drink, that they can actually adapt to that, and they can't. You can't adapt to that. You just sweat a lot. With the temperature gauge almost touching 40, Richmond squad still had to endure a long-distance run and weight session, but on a reduced scale. When the hot weather makes way for cooler conditions, the tempo will again increase. We won't forget that we've given them a, an easier night. It, uh, it will come back to them. Yeah, we actually thought that he was a good bloke, but then he said that, so uh, we'll probably make up for it the rest of the week. Some of the club's youngsters find pre-season training extremely difficult, but for fitness fanatics like Captain Tony Free, it's all part of being successful. You can think of nothing worse than being you know, in an office all day in this sort of temperature. The Daewoo Indoor International Athletics Series kicks off in